think we'll bring everyone. What is your command? Yep. Not sure what's going to happen. If Tempus wills it. Just in case this summons something. I care not. I've done had enough of this. An ornate gong. Oh, the gong mallet is missing. Okay, well we got half of that, right? We have the mallet handle, so we need to find the mallet head, and then we'll be able to bang the gong. Okay. <laughs> Which, by the way, I think is a... well... I guess the parallel in the Forgotten Realms would be, uh... To smoke Black Lotus would be to bang the gong. So I think bang the gong in real life uh, refers to smoking opium or opium use. Choose your friends wisely. Not all are as trustworthy as Minsk and Thank you for your kind words. Okay, it looks like four books laid out. If I got that right, maybe. Along a countertop here. So, all right, these rooms seem like then they're corresponding to the waters here. We had the gong in one room. Another water talked about reading. Uh, I just actually bring that up. The drink. Loud noise. There's the one with the oh, glittering things. Okay, he mentions Chronicles of Deeds. I must find and read these chronicles. The trick is in finding them. Okay. Oh, I bet you these are them. Tis something most unnatural here, and I want no part of it. Oh, I don't blame her. Okay. All right, so I'll just read these verbatim in turn. Um, like a god of battle, Durlag waded into the drow horde, slaying thousands. Okay, so he does not sound like a wizard. This Alithis me, if I'm pronouncing that right, was no match for the mighty Durlag. The dragon spells could not harm him, and her breath was as gentle as a gentle breeze to Durlag. It came to pass that the hero Durlag and his manded arms, Arlo Stoneblade, ventured into the bowels of the Great Rift. They fought the hideous Tanari Alecleptic. Alec. I'm sorry. The great Tanari Ekleptic. And with a single blow of his axe, Durlag slew the demon's body and entrapped its soul in an enchanted dagger. Wow, that intrigues Lily. An enchanted dagger, I think, um... You are a strong warrior. I respect that. Not sure who Bronn was talking to. Maybe Minsk? But he's not responding. Okay. <laughs> But uh, also, this Arlo Stoneblade, Durlag's man-at-arms, I think the first thing that came to Lily's mind is uh, that skeleton upstairs. I wonder if, uh, if he was a loyal man-at-arms. Maybe he's still here in the tower. But we didn't actually talk to that skeleton. Maybe we should. Okay. So that was the third book. Here's the th fourth one. Whoops. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And Durlag moved through the Troll Mountains, killing all of the foul beasts. Okay. And here it's telling us, When you read the final book, you hear a click as if something has been activated. A few seconds later, you hear a humming sound and can see a glow coming from across the hallway. Okay. I think that scares, uh, Emelyn. <laughs> Oh, she's already checked for traps. I think, uh... Choose your friends wisely. Not all are as trustworthy as it's given. All right. I'm 
just reread this again. You hear a humming sound and can see a glow coming from across the hallway. Oh, well, something's been activated. There's still something down here. Oh, I guess we'll look. Okay. Durlag's Pride, which we read about or were told about. That has to do with um, this last one with the weapon. What would honor this warder? What will cause his sword, his pride, to show his glory? Oh. Okay. Maybe uh, this wasn't here before we read anything. I can, I guess. Durlag's Pride. This is a monument to the dwarven hero Durlag. It is a sword that has been fused into the rock and cannot be removed. Well, we have the option to talk with Durlag's Pride. I think Imma's just going to scout for right now, though. And let Lily have those honors. In case it's, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Not checking for traps. That was dangerous. More bodies. Oh, okay. This connects with the other area. All these traps. So I think we'll wait for that too. All right. Well, um. all right. So Lily should probably speak with Durlag's pride. I think everyone wants to finish looking around. All right. Skeleton warrior. Maybe uh, this is Durlag's man at arms. All right. I think it's time to get the party uh, together. Hello. <laughs> if Tempus wills it. Oh, there goes Lily. Yes, such menial tasks. Okay, here comes Durlag's pride, saying, uh, You have raised my deeds in glory, and my sword now glows with pride. Hopefully that's a good thing. Journal update. Seems that by causing the sword to glow, I've completed some sort of task. <laughs> okay. You want of course. Well... What is it? Such menial path. <laughs> it was F <laughs> Faldorn again, making those noises. I think uh, we're just going to make sure what? we're a little confused about this. That's simple matter. Oh. Okay, that's it then. She was trying to talk with uh, Durlag's pride again, but with no luck. Alright, so skeleton warrior in here. By Temple Shield! Agua in my heart. Who? Butt kicking for goodness! It looked like just the one, but a little concerned, uh, because not, not only, uh, are we guessing that might be, uh, Durlag's man at arms, but, um,. Is your command? I am one with nature. All right, entangle. Um, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. 